Have you ever been in a sober Facebook group and someone is venting about some symptoms they're experiencing and in the comments there's that one person and they're like, sounds like pause to me. And a lot of people are like, what is pause? And then it starts this big thread uh, and a lot of people don't know what it is. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill from the Sober Powered Podcast, and I upload new videos every Tuesday teaching you the science behind your experiences with alcohol and tips for staying sober. And this video is part of a free course that's on my YouTube channel, so this is the first video, so look out for the other three. So maybe you've heard of pause, maybe you know exactly what it is, maybe you've never heard of it. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is and what it is not. So PAWS stands for post-acute withdrawal syndrome, and it is something that some people will experience after getting sober um, from alcohol or stopping antidepressants suddenly, so it can happen with a few different types of drugs. So we think quitting drinking is like the climax of the movie. It's like the end of the story, and now things are going to be good, but quitting drinking is actually just the beginning. So you're probably familiar with regular withdrawal, maybe you went through it yourself, and that's that first week or two after you stop drinking where you feel awful, you have trouble sleeping, and then slowly those symptoms go away. And the reason that that happens is because your brain and your body are so used to having a bunch of alcohol around all the time, and then all of a sudden it stops and your body is shocked and it has to learn how to survive basically without alcohol. So when you drink heavily, really regularly, your brain begins to learn that alcohol will always be there and it starts to rely on alcohol to function correctly. So your brain chemistry adapts to the presence of alcohol and it's almost like alcohol belongs there in your brain. That's what your brain starts to believe. And then when you suddenly remove alcohol with no warning, your brain doesn't remember how to function without it. So that's the main withdrawal stage when you feel really horrible. But two weeks isn't enough time to heal from the damage of multiple years of heavy drinking and treating your body like crap. And that's where post-acute withdrawal or pause comes in. So you can think of pause as like the long-term healing of your brain. So it's your brain learning to function correctly and balance its own brain chemistry without alcohol being around. So for example, we use alcohol to relax and unwind after a long day. Your brain has to learn how to calm itself down naturally without alcohol. So this healing process takes time. And in one of my podcast episodes, episode 26, I explain in great detail about how the brain recovers in sobriety, but it's not something that happens in one to two weeks. So it's estimated that up to 75% of people who are sober from alcohol will experience some form of pause symptoms. So you may have heard that person on Facebook who tells you like pause is constant suffering for a year or up to two years, and that is not the case. Pause actually is cyclical, so it comes in cycles, and each cycle lasts a few days at a time, and then it'll fade and go away, and then it might come back again a month or two later, but it is not constant misery. And it's mostly mood-related symptoms, which are things that have triggered us to drink in the past, and this is a big reason why pause can lead to relapse because we know how to cope with those symptoms by using alcohol. And it can also make you feel really like, why bother about this whole sobriety thing? Like if you're not even gonna feel good, why bother? So things you could experience are anxiety, depression, mood swings, fatigue, insomnia, low libido, um, lack of pleasure from natural rewards. You can be really irritable and cranky. And all of these things can lead to cravings to drink. So the most important thing to understand about pause is it is temporary and it comes in cycles. It is not constant misery. And if you experience it and you're feeling disheartened and uncomfortable, just remember this is your brain healing. This is your brain learning how to operate on its own again without alcohol being there for instant gratification. And that healing process takes time. Think about all the years that you drank alcohol. 
so you can give your brain a little bit of time to heal. So as I said in the beginning of this video, this is a free course. So look out for video two of this course. There will be four total. And in the next video in this course, I'm going to talk about how to know if you are experiencing pause or if you're experiencing something else. So I'll see you in the next video.